Hello, today we make some small goods and um, I prepared here several things already for this. What we do is a German beer schinken and uh, what we need here is shoulder meat, pork belly. I used a pork slice over here where I cut off the skin and the bones and some ham meat. Uh, I prepared this um, yesterday already because it needs to rest for 24 hours in the fridge. That is the meat with the spices um, which I specify um, with the recipe and the video. So what we do now is we mince this one um, and the pork belly uh, separately in a mincer with the smallest holes in, though this is three millimeter over here. So I will do this and um, then I will show you. So I minced both meats, that is the pork slice and the shoulder. And the shoulder meat goes into a food processor now. Okay. And with it, it goes a little bit of the salt we have. Okay, we close this and we do this now for some seconds and then we add the other ingredients, the next ones. So it could get a little bit loud now. Okay, so now we put about half of the ice in there as well. And we do some more around. Okay, now we put all the other ingredients in there. That is the pork slice, the minced one. Put the spices in there. And we add all the rest of the ice as well. Close that and mix it for some more minutes. Okay, that looks yes, that looks good now. So this is very thick and smooth consistency. And we need to get this in the other bowl now again. So we have our meat over here and we put now the other meat. These are pieces of Around about that size. And we put them now in here as well. And now we need to get this really mixed very well. It's very important that the meat pieces get a good combination with the with our other meat, our cut it one, and this needs to get really mixed very well. So I have some glasses over here, and we put the material in there.
Okay, and we need to ensure that there is no ear enclosed in the class. So this we have to press this a little bit in. So need to make it nice and smooth at the top. So now we close the jars. And that's how it looks like. And this goes now into um, 80 degrees hot water. Um, I will show you. So I have a tray here where I put all the jars in and we fill it up with 80 degrees hot water and then we put it into the oven keeping it at 80 degrees and they need to stay there in the water in the oven for around about 90 minutes. Okay, I put the water in. And now I put the tray in the oven. Our beer schinken is now ready and it was in the oven for 90 minutes and a day in the fridge. And so let's have a look. It's nice. Tea. Closed. And that is how it looks like. So that's our beer schinken.